we've come across a new scientifically developed insectivore diet. A diet specifically based for insect eating reptiles. Let's try it out. Welcome back to Northern Exotics guys. We're a reptile YouTube channel that talks all things reptile. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. So as some of you guys will know, we've been doing an awful lot of research regarding animal enrichment and what comes under animal enrichment. And it's amazing, it's mind blowing. All the knowledge that we've actually come across has literally blown my mind, it's unreal. And it's gonna take ages to actually settle in and start working its way around and stuff like that. But I watched a recent podcast by um, Arcadia's head scientist, uh, John Courtney Smith. I'll link it up in the cards just above and in the description below if you guys want to go and see it. I highly recommend it. Can get a bit dull at times, but honestly, you want to watch the full podcast. It's around about an hour and 15 minutes long, but the knowledge you will learn in that single podcast is absolutely mind-blowing. But in this video, guys, we're talking solely enrichment on a dietary basis. And it's quite simple. We have come across this. And the product in question, Arcadia's Insecta Gold. So I want to find a nutritional packed addition to the diet of an insectivore related reptile. So this one, we're concentrating on Hugo, the Savannah Monitor. And the reason this has been picked to use first is simply because the scientific background behind it. Now this product is only made for insect eating reptiles. It's a natural blend of everything that an insect eating reptile thrives on. And through talking to the people at Arcadia about this product, it's amazing their knowledge on it on a cellular level. They have different nutrients that work together to make better nutrients, like super nutrients, so to speak. And it is a jam packed full of absolutely everything that your reptile, your insect eating reptile actually needs. It's 100% natural ingredients. The ingredients, I mean, check this out. This is what I mean by they've matched different things together to act as a super nutrient sort of thing. That's just the way I put it. I mean, it can be put other ways, but you've got black soldier fly larvae, brown rice flour, beetle protein powder, calcium carbonate, mealworm, shrimp, carrot, banana, uh, mineral powder, papaya, coconut milk, locust, bean gum, blood powder, apple, uh, dandelion, loads and loads and loads of other products including bee pollen. That's absolutely amazing. Now some of you guys might think, but you've got papaya in there, you've got coconut milk, you've got banana. That's not insectivore eating diet. Why is that in there? Let me explain. Yes, Hugo here, my savannah monitor, doesn't eat fruit and vegetables. He can't eat fruit and vegetables. But these guys eat fruit and vegetables. Their body absorbs the fruit and the fruit and vegetables in such a way that it benefits them, which in turn benefits them. So all the nutrients that are actually inside one of these is actually jam-packed inside the Arcadia's Earth Pro Insectigold. But then just look at the nutritional side of it nutritional additives look at that and that's what i mean by they really have thought deep about this product and gone really deep so basically this has got absolutely everything in it on a cellular level that hugo is going to need so should we try and make it up so on the back of the packet it says quick and easy to make mix with boiling water as per the instructions and leave to cool it will then form a gel that can be moulded and shaped into balls or chunks. Feed as per the needs of the species and the size of the animal along with a variety of live food and other fresh foods to ensure variety, both mentally, physical enrichment. Use with a well-appointed UVB system. They don't specifically say feed this as their complete diet. This takes, this makes up up to 60% of their diet. So I'm going to try it out on Hugo for now and then um, see how it goes through him, see how it comes out of him and uh, we'll go from there. But I am really excited to try this. So now it's just a case of leaving that to cool down and then feed it off to the animals and see what happens. It should go into a gel consistency. Let's see if I've made it right. So while that's cooling down and hopefully turning into a gel if I've made it right, um, 
Let's talk about the enrichment and why I want to use this product. We'll use Hugo, my Savannah monitor, as an example in this. We, in captivity, cannot feed them the exact food that they get out in the wild. Out in the wild, they get all their own specific type of bugs um, that we can't replicate here, especially in the UK. We can only feed them on really locusts, crickets, dubia roaches, morio worms, all that sort of stuff. But that's not their exact natural diet in the wild. And our insects are feeding on the food that we feed the insects to gut load them to be able to give them to Hugo. And we think that that's gut loading to the perfect specifications for Hugo. Well, if you think about it, the insects that the savannah monitors eat out in the wild, a totally different style of insect, they're virtually the same insect wise, but they eat a different food out there. They live off different behaviours out there. They've got different muscle growth out there. Well, this product has got all of those nutritions that we're missing all packed into this one gel. So it's like a jam-packed gel protein shake sort of thing. Um, it makes up up to 60% of their diet if you want to. Um, I think I'll be doing it a little here and there and stuff like that. But it's going to be interesting to see how Hugo takes to this. But it's a good boost for not only his immune system but his enrichment as well it's a totally different thing for him totally new this he's never had anything like this before so it'll be interesting to see how he reacts to it but it's set and it only sets in about an hour i think i've made quite a chunk quite a lot up but we'll see how he takes it now i don't quite know how to feed it to him i don't really want to use the metal tongs because i don't want to injure his mouth i've only got a little tiny black spoon but my finger might get lost and I've got some stupid little plastic bug tweezer things. Um, or I can just try a bit on a plate and see how it goes. Let's see what happens. So I think I'm just literally going to stab the fork. Oh god, it is just like a gel. Oh, it's like Angel Delight. <laughs> Alright, just keep chopping it up into chunks. Uh, to chop up there. And then straight across. And we'll just... Yeah, do one more there. And we'll just see what happens. I'll try them on this piece first. Well, there's Hugo in all of his glory. Let's open the glass up and see what he's like. So, how am I gonna do this? Let's just drop the bowl in and just see what he takes. He's there, he's smelling, he's having a good old go. Let's have a look. You can really see his Jacob's glands proper working away there. You can see him shaking his head there. That is simply what he would normally do with a worm in his mouth. So it's basically just like a bit of a habit that he has to try and kick if, when he gets off of this. As I say, it's the first time he's ever had it. Let's try and see if we can spoon feed him a bit. He does really seem to enjoy this. Oh, well, he's eating it. Look at him all over his mouth. <laughs> He got covered in it. Like a messy baby. So I think it's safe to say he didn't know what to make of that. He kept rubbing his chin on it and stuff like that, but he did eat some. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it comes out the other end. Um, but it, he's in a feeding frenzy, so he must know it's food. Let's see how it goes. Shall we go and try this with Diego? So there's Diego, he's the bearded dragon. Let's see how he takes to some of this. I'll get some on a spoon. I have hand fed him loads of times in the past, so it'll be interesting to see how he do. Let's have a look. Do you want to have a little licky licky? It's food. Oh, don't you want any mate? Well, your beard's not gone black, so. Oh, he's got his Jacob's gland going. He's had a bit of a lick around. Let's see if he'll have a little devil dabble. He really doesn't seem sure about this, does he? Daddy, what is that? It's chocolate, mate. Don't worry, it's chocolate. Oh, okay, then let's have a little taste, shall we? You lied! Daddy, you lied! Oh, wait there. Oh, wait there. Oh, nom 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 nom. More, please. Nom 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 nom. I'll tell you one thing, he really does seem to be enjoying this food. 
good thing I do like about this product, you can actually see all the bits and bobs inside the gel. So they've literally got nothing to hide, it's there for you to see it. And considering the animals have never seen this product before, they seem to be doing quite well with it. I'll stick a link in the description and the card above just now for you to go and check out Arcadia's actual YouTube channel about this product. There he is, Diego seems to really enjoy it. So I've left the bowl down there with a bit left in it and just the hope that he can actually go down there and have a little nibble. And um, I'll take it out there in about 20 minutes and just see how he reacts to it. So Diego seemed to like it as well. So bearded dragon, buff monitor, success. They both need a little training on how to actually eat it. They both got it all covered over their faces. But they both absolutely loved it. And I feel so satisfied that they've had a great nutritional kick in their system. A bit of a nutritional boost. I absolutely love this. It's amazing. So once again, this is Arcadia's Earth Pro Insectigold. It's an amazing product. All the links are down in the description below. Uh, so if you want to go and check it out, feel free to go and check it out. I highly recommend it. It's an absolutely amazing product full of just pure goodness. But the animals love it. I love it. Bonus. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Peace out, guys.